This story is called The Little Girl Who Wasn't, and it was reported online by Lady Sparrow. I lived in a house from hell for four years, from age 11 to almost 16. There was constantly something happening. Doors flying open and shut, voices, footsteps. Nothing ever stayed where you put it. I was alone there a lot because both my parents worked, and I was constantly terrified. One of the most gut-level disturbing things, though, was the little girl in my bathroom. Every time I walked past my bathroom door, which was constantly, since it was right outside my bedroom, I saw a little girl with blonde curly hair and a rose-colored dress. She just stood there, staring, looking like a photograph from 1905. I started keeping the door closed so I could walk by without seeing her, but she was always there when I opened it. Once I stepped in past her, I couldn't see her anymore, but I could always feel her there. She scared me, but I felt really sorry for her because she was trapped there, just like me. But she was trapped probably forever. As the years went by and things in the house continued to get worse, she started to seem darker. I started feeling like she wasn't really a little girl. I knew there was something ugly in the house, and I felt like it was presenting this sympathetic image to me. Then I started thinking maybe I was completely losing my mind. One day when I was 14, I had a friend from out of town come stay with me for a week. I had not told her anything whatsoever about the house because I didn't think she'd come if I did. Right after she got there, we were sitting in my room and she left to go to the bathroom. About a minute later, she walked back in with a puzzled look on her face and she said, uh, so there's a little girl in your bathroom. Um, yeah, she hangs out in there. Blonde hair, curls, pink dress, yeah. You know that's not really a little girl, don't you? I almost threw up. I was so relieved and terrified and excited that someone else saw it and ready to run out of the room screaming. She would not use that bathroom the rest of the week, and I started using it as little as possible without ticking off my parents, who did not want to believe anything was happening. Eventually, we moved out, and I could not have been happier. I distanced myself from it mentally as much as I could. And then, when I was 18, I took another friend on a road trip to pack up a few things that I'd left in that house. My parents had never managed to sell it and actually wouldn't for five more years. The minute we got onto that property, my friend seemed uncomfortable. When we came around the bend in the long, steep driveway, he went completely white. I, I could tell something was wrong, but he insisted he was okay, so we got to work. After a while, he asked to use the bathroom. I directed him to mine. Not 20 seconds after he left, he came running back in, gasping for breath, and slammed the bedroom door behind him. He started babbling about a little blonde girl who isn't really a little girl. All of a sudden, he went dead still, looked me in the eye, and very solemnly said, She's not happy with you. You left, and you weren't supposed to. We threw whatever we could grab in two trips in my car after I walked into another bedroom or bathroom and waited outside the door. And we got the hell out of there at top speed and never went 